Hey, Darius. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be back. Uh, just curious what you can tell us about what the free agent process was like. And in particular, I know there was a report out there that Atlanta offered you more. I don't know if you can confirm that, but then just bigger picture of what last week was like for you. Uh, it's a weird process. You know, it was um, kind of similar to the draft in some ways. You know, you get a chance to speak to a lot of teams, hear opinions from a lot of teams, um, you know, feel a lot of interest or no interest. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting little deal, you know, kind of just to get to see how, the, you know, the way the league sees you or values you, you know, how your team does. And, uh, you know, just kind of see how all those things compare up to each other. So did you have more elsewhere? Like what made you choose the Giants, I guess? Um, I mean, we had multiple teams that were interested. You know, it's, this is really a pretty weird free agency year. You know, teams really weren't just throwing around money, um, kind of like in other years. Uh, but, you know, we had a few teams that were interested that probably could have went with, but, you know, ultimately the Giants, you know, when they got, uh, you know, DJ back, obviously his quarterback's a <laughs> pretty big piece of being a receiver. Um, you know, but just the familiarity here, you know, what Dave's and Calf and, and Joe are building here and some of the guys that they acquired, you know, I just felt like this would be the uh, best place for me to go. And obviously I'm comfortable here. I enjoy being here. I enjoy the people here. So, you know, it was easy to come back. Gotcha. Thanks. Go back to Ryan. Hey, Darius. Sorry about that, man. You good? Congrats. Welcome back. Um, I wanted to ask, obviously, we all know what happened last year with you in training camp and whatnot. Really no need to rehash it. But I think there's a lot of people who would have held a grudge. Like, you guys made me take a pay cut. I'm going to get my money next time from literally anywhere else. <laughs> why, why did you not have that bad blood? What does that say about you and the team and kind of where the relationship is now versus where it was in August? Um, you know, I just think in general in life, I try not to bring emotion into into things that aren't emotional. You know, and football is football's not emotional. Either you go out there and you make plays and the people that make the decisions, you know, play the people who make plays or, or you don't. So, you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to football or anything like that, you know, I tend to put the point of thumb and not the finger you know, and look at what I can do better. What have I done to put myself in whatever situation? And, you know, sometimes in life you do do, you know, everything you're supposed to do and you end up, you know, getting screwed over. But, um, you know, I'll be lying if I said I didn't somewhat contribute to my situation last year. And, you know, at the end of the day, I have to take responsibility for that and do better. And then obviously Dan just asked you about Atlanta. How I mean, that's kind of where I thought you were going to end up because guys like to go home. How how tempting was that being a Georgia guy to go there? And kind of was that ultimately those two offers, what you were weighing against each other? Um, Atlanta, like you just said, is where I'm from. It's where my parents live. It's where a lot of my – close to where a lot of my family lives. Uh, one of my best friends was a free agent. He just got signed by Atlanta. So, um, you know, I had a lot of – I guess you could say reason to want to be there or to want to go there. But um, first of all, free agency, it's got to be mutual, which, you know, I mean, I think they had interest in me, which they expressed. But um, ultimately, I think that the best football decision for me was being back here with Daniel and continuing to grow with him and, and, Kaf and Kafka's offense. You've been his biggest supporter. What do you think of that deal, Daniels? Probably. Honestly, the the happiest – I might have been more happy for his deal than my own deal, honestly, you know, just because um, I've been here, you know, for everything that it's taken for him to get here and, you know, kind of seeing the the way people viewed him before and the way they view him now. And and anybody who follows me on Twitter knows Daniel Jones slander is not being tolerated on my timeline. So – and that will be that way is, you know, probably to the day I die. So, uh, you know, I'm extremely happy for him and I'm just glad he was able to get his due. Patty Trina. Hey, Darius, welcome back. Uh, thank you. Nice to be back. Darius, I have two for you, kind of, kind of related. You mentioned just before that, in a way, you kind of contributed to the start of the season you had last year. What exactly did you mean by that? Um, I mean, I think I think I made a lot of plays during camp, but I mean, first of all, you know, I hurt I hurt my hamstring, which held me out of practice for a while and uh, didn't allow me to be able to showcase my full abilities. And, you know, I could say 
you know, there's always a, a lot of a lot of ways you could look at things, but to me, it's I look at it as if I stretched more, if I had prepared myself more, you know, if I had, you know, just did different things, and I would have never hurt myself, and I would have had a chance to show my full ability and what I'm capable of. So um, that was kind of what I meant by that. You know, I just I, I always like to take responsibility for what I my part and whatever it is that you know negatively impacts me, and I, I do my best to correct it. And then as, as far as this uh, whole process goes, I mean, it was kind of a crossroads for you. What did you learn about yourself going through this process for the first time and with the decisions and, you know, weighing everything together? Uh, I learned that I don't really care for <laughs> the business side of it, you know. Uh, <laughs> I just let my agent do what he do. And um, I really was not, I mean, obviously I was involved because it's I got to sign and play the deal, but... You know, I let him and Joe and whatever GMs he was talking to do the business, and I really just love playing football, man. You know, I didn't – I know a lot of people were like, well, you just sit at home? And I'm like, no, man, I was training. You know, that's what I love to do. I love to get up and run routes and catch the ball. So that's what I was busy doing. I let my agent do what he do, and, um, you know, ultimately we came together and made a decision. Thanks so much, Darius. Of course. Bruce back. Hey, Darius, staying with the same franchise, was that important to you to remain a Giant in that regard? Yeah, you know, I think, um, like I said, I built a relationship with a lot of guys around here, a lot of people in this building. Um, you know, even today, you know, it's been a lot of uh, hugs and, and smiling faces. And, you know, that's definitely something I knew that would be here if I came back here. And, um, you know, I definitely aspire to be, you know, a great player for this franchise. How much are you looking forward to playing with Daniel again this year? A lot, you know, I'm, like I said, you know, I was really happy when his deal got done. You know, that was obviously a huge plus for me and coming back here, you know, was getting him back. So um, I was extremely happy to see him, you know, be back. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you. We'll take two more. Kim Jones. Hey, Darius, how are you? Congrats. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Thank you. Um, when did you know? That, that you'd be part of this again, like that they wanted you back. Um, you know, you kind of explained your part of the decision, but when did Joe or whomever make your agent aware, or are you aware, we want Darius back on this team? Oh, they offered me pretty early. The, the, we had, yeah. yeah, we had been in, we were in negotiations for a while. You know, it's just, there's just so much movement in free agency. And obviously, you know, we, we got a lot of heavy hitters that was up this year, you know, with Saquon and DJ and Dexter and, Jay Love, myself, um, you know, they obviously had a lot of uh, things to figure out on their end, which which is kind of what drug it out to some degree. But, um, yeah, we're in contract negotiations for a while, and, you know, ultimately uh, we came to agree on terms. What's it like to have been here for, obviously, some of the lean times, and now it seems like the Giants are an ascending team where, where people, are people on the outside are happy to join, and, and you've been a Giant now for a while? Yeah, you know, it would have been kind of crazy to leave after, you know, somewhat building all these bricks. And then as soon as we get the thing built to just jump off the top, you know, it would have been a little, would have been kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, I definitely wanted to stick around and be at the top and take in the view myself. So, um, you know, I think just some of the guys we've been able to sign and go get just a testament to what, you know, we've been able to build here and, you know, what Calf and Dave's and, and those guys have been able to bring to us. And just a real quick one, if I may, your friend who signed with the Falcons, I'm sorry, yeah. who is that? Uh, Mike Abernathy. He was with Green okay. Bay, and then he signed with the Falcons. Okay. Thanks very much. Last one here, Bob Brookover. Congratulations, Darius. Um, Thank you. Do you, uh, do you remember the moment where you thought, felt like you and Daniel really had a connection and, and what that relationship, can you describe how it's developed over the years? Um, shoot, probably rookie minicamp, our first year, you know, coming in. Um, I remember doing, we were doing like either it was one on ones or I think we were doing one on ones. And he, you know, obviously, you know, they always ask, you know, what do you want to run? And he was like, shoot, you want to run a go ball? And I was like, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> and, uh, you know, kind of ever since then, I was like, it's my kind of guy. You know, a lot of quarterbacks are like, oh, let me throw a hitch or a slant, something, you know, short to get them warmed up. But, um, you know, I think. From that moment on, you know, at least in my head, I was like, I can work with this guy. And, you know, obviously as we played together and, and I made plays for him and he made plays for me, you know, that trust builds and that connection builds. Um, and was there ever a point in, 
after the after the pay cut last year where where Joe or Dave were like, hey, you know what, we we might have cut the wrong guy here, or you know, even when the signing happened, that you, you said you hate the business part of it, but was there any point where they said we might have made a mistake with you? <laughs> uh. No, I never said nothing like that, but they definitely, you know, once, you know, we got going to the season, I started doing my thing, you know, they definitely were just, I appreciated that they went out their way to say they were happy to have me, you know, they were happy I was still here, they were happy that, you know, I decided to stay last season and, you know, I appreciated that because um, at the end of the day, they don't have to say anything at all, you know, so um, definitely was, you know, good to hear that from them. And one last thing, what do you, what do you think of this room right now with Waller coming in? Uh, Paris Campbell's obviously a, a speed guy who's got a history of being successful, especially at the college level, but then again last year. What do you think of this receiver room right now? Yeah, we got a lot of guys that can fly, um, a lot of guys that can play, and you know I think that's only going to help our team. It's only going to make us better. It's only going to make the competition around here better. So you know I'm looking forward to OTAs and camp and getting a chance to compete alongside these guys.